In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, we see Jesus healing the paralytic man. And he heals the root of the sickness saying, Son, son your sins are forgiven. Sin not only cripples our being, but it also brings lot of diseases, uneasiness in ourselves. Because sin is not only that we do something against God, but we do it ourselves. Because our being, our body is not meant to sin and debauchery, but it was meant to glorify God as a means to proclaim the goodness and kindness of God. That's what we must use it for, not for our greed and lust and for our fame or for our power or to oppression. Therefore, in such possession, we become possessed and our body is crippled, our being becomes crippled. That's what had happened to this man whom his friend had brought and lowering him from the roof of the house they bring in front of Jesus. And the Lord tells him, your sins are forgiven. Therefore, my dear friends, if today we want to experience life fully, then we must let go of our sinful life. And for that, we must come to Jesus in the sacrament of reconciliation in which we understand our God is an unconditionally loving Father. God's love is unconditional, boundless and it is boundaryless. And that is the kind of love that we experience in Jesus with all our heart, with all our contrition. When we take refuge in the love of God, the love of God will sustain us and lead us. Therefore, to that love of God, let us surrender ourselves and our families. What can I give? What can I bring? That would be pleasing to my King. I'll give my heart, not just a part. I'm lifting up my everything. Well, it's all I have to offer. All I have to give. Two hands, one heart, one life to offer you. Two hands, one heart, one life to give to you. Use me today, I know you can. Lord, I surrender to your plan. You made this heart, you made these hands. Take me and use me as I am. Well, it's all I have to offer. And it's all I have to give. Two hands, one heart, one life to offer you. Two hands, one heart, that's what I give to you. Jesus, we bring to you today our, our world in which we are facing the wrath of the virus, bird flu and new strains of the virus. Lord, you alone can heal our sins, our activities of greed and selfishness. Touch our hearts with your radiance so that we may, with contrition of our lives, focus on the basics of life and love, friendship, care and selfless living with others so that we may always live in the aura of your grace. We make this prayer in your holy name, dear Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.